welcome back. So, pag-uusapan natin ngayon ay ang components of a force. Forces acting at some angle from the coordinate axis can be resolved into mutually perpendicular forces called the components. The component of a force parallel to the x-axis is called the x-component. Parallel to the y-axis is called, of course, the y-component. So, if we are going to consider this force F here, Parallel to the x-axis, ay doon natin makikita yung x-component natin. So, meaning, this is the fx. And, parallel to the y-axis naman is the fy, yung ating y-component. This is the fy. Kung si force F is acting in this direction, theta x, meaning si angle theta is measured from the x-axis, we can say that this side here is just the same with the Fy here. So meaning, this is also Fy. Okay, kung babalikan natin si trigonometry, we have here our fx as your adjacent side and your f here as your hypotenuse. So, from the Sokatoa, Sokatoa, we have the adjacent side and the hypotenuse, so meaning that is cosine. So, cosine of theta x is equal to the adjacent side fx over the hypotenuse f. So we can say that fx is equal to f cosine theta x. Let us consider this fy. So, Fy is the opposite side of theta x. So, opposite and hypotenuse. So, that is opposite and hypotenuse. So, that is so. So, that is sine of theta x is equal to the opposite side Fy over hypotenuse f. So, meaning your fy is equal to f sine of theta x. What if consider naman natin tong side na to? So, lalagyan natin siya ng angle. This is theta y. Theta y is measured based on the y-axis. So, if this is fx, meaning this is also fx. Okay? So, hindi sa lahat ng oras, yung x component natin is cosine and the y component is sine. Nakadepende to kung aling angle yung ating kinukonsider. So, Unahin natin si fx. fx is opposite nung theta y. And this is our hypotenuse. So, opposite and hypotenuse, so that is so. Meaning, sine of theta y is equal to fx, the opposite side over hypotenuse f. So, solving for the fx, fx is equal to f sine theta y. Then, kung consider naman natin si fy, we have adjacent side 
and hypotenuse so that is cosine cosine theta y is equal to the adjacent side fy over f so we can say that fy is equal to f cosine theta y Okay, kung papansinin natin, from here, we have the theta x. Kung si theta x yung kinukonsider natin, our fx is f cosine theta x. And our fy is f sine theta x. And if we are going to consider the theta y here, our fx is sine because it is opposite and our Fy is cosine because this is adjacent. So, solving the components in terms of the slope naman. Halimbawa, meron tayo ditong slope given. So, this is the vertical or the rise. And this is the horizontal or the run. And this is the hypotenuse R. Okay, so given is the slope, we have here our force F. If this is the x-axis and this is the y-axis, our x component is parallel to the x-axis, so therefore this is the Fx. Since our y component is parallel to the y-axis, this is our y-component. So, kung titignan natin dito, given is the slope, the rise v and the run h, and meron tayong diagonal r, we're in CR is just the hypotenuse of our slope. So R is just equal to the square root of H squared plus V squared using the Pythagorean theorem. So papan natin compute yung ating components. So using the similarity of triangle. If this is the V, the horizontal, and the diagonal, and ito naman yung sa force natin, this is our Fy, this is the Fx, and this is our F. So kung isusolve natin yung ating X component, it is just the fx over the diagonal or the hypotenuse. No? So fx and the hypotenuse f. It is just equal to the horizontal is to r. So h over r. So by similarity of triangle, fx is to f. And h is to r. So solving for the value of fx, fx is just equal to f multiplied by h over r. If we are going to solve for the value of the fy, so by ratio and proportion or similarity of triangle, fy is to f that is equal to the vertical over its diagonal r so therefore your fy is just equal to f multiplied by v over r 